Hey superstars, welcome back to another through the mail autograph video where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. But I need some cards, so do you mind riding along with me? I'll be quick. We're back at my favorite hangout, Triple Play Vintage, 3261 Oakwood Drive, Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Ooh, garbage pail, kids. I wonder if Roy bought TTMs. There's the famous wall of wax, but I've only got a dollar on me. Can you spot me some cash? No? Fine. Here we go, three for a buck. Back to my old tried and true, 89 tops. Oh, hey, Cora. I should change my name to Project 89 TTM. Let's see what we got. Here's my favorite error card, world-famous catalog model Bill Wegman and Steve Balboni from down the street. Sabo, tough choice. I'm going to go with this Doug Jones record breaker. Only Doug won't sign this card because that's not Doug Jones. It's actually Chris Cotteroli. According to Wikipedia, Christopher Allen Cotaroli is a former professional baseball player who pitched in the major leagues in 1982 through 1988 and 1990. Seriously, that's it. At least he's got a Wikipedia page. I don't have a Wikipedia page, but we can do better than that, right? No, I'm not going to make myself a Wikipedia page. I'm going to make up some nonsense. I suppose I can find inspiration in that beautiful mustache. Hmm. Let's take a trip down Mustache Lane. A mustache ride, if you will. Most young lads grow their whiskers when they turn 15 or so, but not Mr. Cotteroli here. He was actually born with that thing. Straight out of the womb with this godly golden cookie duster. His parents tried to shave it off, but it would grow back almost instantaneously. The attention from astounded strangers must have gotten to baby Chris because he started throwing his toy balls at whomever would stop by to ogle at his adorable yet majestic mouth merkin. By the time he was three, young Chris and his snot mop were so good at throwing balls at rubbernecking passers-by that his parents signed him up for Little League. At that point, he could pitch better than any nine-year-old in Oxnard, California, and he gained the nickname the California Caterpillar. He kept throwing and throwing and throwing, and eventually when Chris and his nose neighbor came of age, he earned a spot on the San Jose City College baseball team. Go Jaguars! He was then drafted in the first round of the 1978 MLB draft by the Detroit Tigers. He played eight seasons and wasn't a superstar by any means, but he did win 14 games for the A's in 1985. His career kind of petered off after that. Some say it was because people stopped noticing his mustache and he wasn't throwing as hard. Others say that his arm was just dead because he'd been throwing since birth. I like to think that he wanted to open a path for other majestic mustaches in the game, like my boy Doug Jones and guys like Donnie Baseball and Rod Beck. So thank you, Chris Cotteroli, and long live your fabulous face furniture. All right, let's see what we got. As usual, I told him to keep the doodle, but he sent it back. Maybe I just didn't do the Bromorang justice, but he did sign the 87 Tops, 84 Fleer, and my favorite, the Doug Jones error card, quite nicely. I'm super grateful to you and your luscious lip luggage. Thank you so much, Mr. Cotterelli, and thank you for watching. And check out my friends at Triple Play Vintage on the eBay and the Facebook. I'll leave a link below. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time.